Greetings traders, Robert from North Star Day Trading. Making this video as a correction to the fair value gap uh, strategy and indicator here that we have running on Quant Tower. Um, I was called out or corrected, I should say, by another trader who is more familiar with the strategies of the fair value gap um, from ICT, the uh, inner circle trader. Uh, and I wanted to make sure that we give credit where credit is due. And this is the process. So I'm going to show you where I was wrong and where I made the correction. So looking at the fair value gap, the structure was correct. We have three candles, one, two, three. And we have the gap between candle one and candle three. This happens to be a gap down. So previously what I had was uh, when the market made this gap down and it would come down and back up and enter this area for a short it comes back up into this gap area enters a short position and then has a target down here my previous calculations I was using the end of this candle here so this would be the gap from high here to low here this is what I was using as the gap from this level to this level. So when price came up into here, it would be a short for a target, but the stop was the other side of this candle. Uh, that is not correct. The stop is the pr previous candle, the candle before it. Uh, it's an interesting concept because what happens if this candle, instead of being, you know, uh, we're looking at this here, five points high, what if it was 50 because of some type of movement? Uh, it's something, that is subjective. It's the reason why I don't follow these things 100% to the T uh, because of specific scenarios like that. So what I was using was from here to here, the actual gap as the short entry, the other end of the gap here for the stop, which was not correct. It's this one. And then the target, I was using this gap here, that I, the previously wrong one, times 1.5. So if this was a 10 point gap, it would be a 15 point target. Uh, that is not correct. The correct answer is using the opposite end of the candle here. And whatever this is, make a two to one ratio right there. So this level happens to be 82 ticks as we can see here. So 82 times two is 64. That would be your two to one ratio. This would be the target that has now been corrected in the fair value gap strategy. This is the date, 924, 2023. That has been corrected. So it would enter a short position here. The stop loss would be here and the target would be here. Now, as in any strategy, it does not need to uh, be held the entire time to just simply wait where if here is your entry and you're coming down and, and you reach this area here so you are uh, 93 to 63 you are 30 points down um, you know that's $600 on one contract on NQ it's good enough for me close the trade I would hate to see you come down to $600 in profit only to go up to lose $400, uh, $410 in a stop loss. Doesn't make sense to me. Uh, the other thing that I made sure that I kept in was the amount of size. So we don't want to take in this setup, we don't want to enter, uh, there's a gap down, we don't want it to come up and enter a gap to go the other direction if it's a very tiny gap, if it's a real small gap. For example, this one right here. We don't want his here and here, the market closed, and we didn't want to enter a short here because this is the gap only to get stopped out right at this candle. It That doesn't make sense to me either. So I did leave these fields in here for the traders to set what they want. So I would actually increase this. This is only a 10 point gap. Uh, so it has to be over 10 points in this case for it to enter a position. I would actually go a little bit higher than that to be honest. Um, and we can also put a maximum gap size. So if we have a really large gap, obviously our stop is going to be incredibly large as well. So I put a max gap size in. This was in the previous one. I'm keeping those in there. But then I added a max stop in ticks. 
uh, it just happens to be the same right now in this particular scenario. So what I did was uh, the re the reason for that is we could have a gap that's a certain size and say, yeah, that's not too big, so my target's gonna be okay, but my stop loss happens to be way the heck up here. It's going to skip it because I'm giving myself a max stop as well. Um, I wanted to make those corrections because I, again, I, I wanted to make sure we're, I'm accurate in what we're presenting. That said, I still favor the fair value gap fills strategy. Uh, and that strategy is the one that takes the smaller gaps and trades through them. So just as a summary, this one here, we have a gap down. We would be entering a short when the market comes back up for continuation. Whereas the smaller ones, example, this one here, this is a gap down. We'd be taking a long through that gap, which is right here. Uh, it's just something that I prefer. prefer. So that is called the fair value gap fills strategy. This is the fair value gap strategy with the modifications on this date to be sure I am actually following the plan as it was designed, uh, not by me. Um, and I was uh, presented with the correction. So I wanted to make sure that we are accurate in our representation here. Any questions, please let me know.